Hey everyone, how are you? Hope you are doing really really well. Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't met, hi, you can call me Tanan and this is my channel and today I have a super exciting video and I always say the same but almost all my videos make me nervous or make me excited and today as you can see in the title we have the Chop my stash for the month of August. I cannot believe we're already in August. I'm filming this in the 2nd of August and I cannot believe it. Like July was like this for me. So yeah, this video will be a little bit different than my other videos because usually I go to my daily makeup organizer and show you what I've been using for the last month. But like a week ago, I take out all of the products out of the organizer because I was organizing my drawers where I store all of my makeup. So yeah, that drawer and the organizers are kind of messy right now. So I decided that for this month, I'll do it a little bit differently. And I'm going to show you over here the products I've been using the most. In the last month so we can share some thoughts i hope you like that idea but if you're here only for the like choosing the new products for the new rotation i'll leave the timestamp down below so you can skip all this introduction and reflection of last month and you see what i'm choosing for next month but let's start with this video so usually every month i really focus on my products on my different project pans but I have a couple of products that are not in projects that I've been wearing a lot but I also will share some products that I was hoping to use a lot in July but I didn't so let's start with primer right now I'm working in a primer I have it over here <laughs> but the primer that is in a project is a matte primer as you can see and in winter my skin is drier it doesn't look like it's winter today i'm using like this shade without um without sleeves so it's a pretty warm day today i feel like spring is getting closer for me and i'm really happy about that but uh, usually in winter my skin is really really dry and i'm using a lot of matte foundations that are in different projects so for that reason, I decided to hold in a hydrating primer. This one is from Beauty Creation. It's the only, it, no, it's not the only one anymore. But it's one of my hydrating primers and I really like this one. But I was hoping to use it a lot, but actually I haven't. Maybe that is because I haven't been wearing that much makeup in the last month. Maybe it's because of that or maybe it's because I'm really, really trying to finish this one up. But yeah, I haven't used this one as much as I was hoping. I didn't choose any foundations because I'm working in three foundations in project. But I will in this Halo Glow Setting Powder in Light. This one is from e.l.f. as you can see. In June, I got a lot of makeup and I got this powder over here. And to be honest, I haven't been wearing it too much because again, my skin has been dry and I don't need powder when my skin is dry but i'm really enjoying it like the times i have used it i'm using it today because my face with the sunscreen and something it's kind of oily today so i use this one and i really like the effect i don't feel like this powder get my skin even drier but it sets the makeup pretty good so i need to still use it more to be able to make a review or have a final decision about it but so far i have really enjoyed this one then i chose i think two blushes one of them was kind of purple and i was hoping to use that in winter with some purple looks to do something like a monochromatic look but to be honest i didn't use that blush at all and i don't have it here but i've been using a lot this blush over here this one is beaming from essence and it's a really soft and natural blush so in days that i don't want to wear a lot of makeup or that i have a heavy eye look i really enjoy using this one but i also have been really enjoying this blush over here this one is drop of a hat from colourpop and this one 
not in the rotation but i received it in july and i started using it i'm not sure how to use the super chop cheeks this one i have been using with a sponge but i don't know if it's the best way to apply it maybe i need a special brush or something i'm not sure how to use it let me let me know how you use these products but this is such a pretty color it's a pearlized uh, blush and it's super soft but it has a really nice color and i have noticed that i really enjoy orangey blushes so i've been really enjoying this one then i roll in two highlighters one that is a little more blinding yeah blinding and another one that is way more softer and lately i haven't been wearing a lot of blush blush a lot of highlighters so i haven't been using these ones as much i think i have used this one a little bit more than this one this is really really soft and actually i can use it as a setting powder when i want to set like the higher parts of my face and i think i have only used this one like once and i have had it for over a year now and it's almost brand new so i need to do something about this one next some eye products i don't choose eye shadow palettes because i have two projects that has eyeshadow so usually my hands are full of eyeshadows without needing to add something else in their rotation but i try to roll in a super chalk shadow every month and last month i rolled in this one that is set to stun from colourpop and i have only used it once in the last month but this color is so freaking pretty i really enjoy this one but i'm doubtful if i want to keep rolling in a new super chalk shadow every month also something else that it wasn't in the rotation at all but i've been using a lot is this i was going to say green this brown uh, eyeliner this one again is from essence i got it in june because i got a lot of things in june or maybe it was in may i'm not sure um and i've been using it a lot to make a wing line that is a little bit softer and natural than a black wing line and i've been really enjoying this one but I don't know, at the beginning the pack, I made a mess and now it's under the bed. We're back and I don't remember what I was saying. And the last like eye or eyebrow product that I've been using is this Clear Brow and Lash Mascara from e.l.f. And I've been using it and I feel like it, I cannot remember how much product it's supposed to have, but I feel like it's not a lot but um recently i find the word to describe my eyebrows and i have curly eyebrows does anyone else have like that problem that issue because since my eyebrows are curly it's super hard to get them in place and this gel is not strong enough to keep them in place like maybe for a little while i'm using it right now and my eyebrows look great in my opinion but it's not going to last unless i chose some like lip products and i i don't know what i've been wearing on my lips in the last month because first i wanted to get good use out of this mini lip gloss this is from Druid cosmetic no idea which shade and i was hoping to get good use out of it because last year at my birthday i bought a set of three mini glosses and i have used up two of them so i want to use up this one too but i haven't been wearing it maybe i'll put it back into the rotation so i can use it a little bit more lastly or the things that i want to mention i have this lipstick this is from a peruvian brand that is pretty easy to get here but it's not a cruelty free brand so i'm not buying from this brand anymore and it's a really dark reddish tone and this is a hard color for me to use but some things that i had an interview or that i have a presentation for university i used this color and it's really pretty but yeah i used that one more than i was hoping and i'm happy about that because 
this is a color that I feel like I will only use in winter because in summer when I want to use red lips I prefer something a little bit more bright like a true red and that makes me think that I should pick up now some like lip colors that are only suitable for me in winter so I think we're going to choose a lot of lip products today but yeah that's everything about the last rotation and now let's go to my drawers to choose some new products so this is my first makeup drawer as i said in the introduction all of my makeup is here right now even the products that are in different projects um so yeah basically we need to choose everything and pick up my project products so um I feel like these drawers look different every month, but yeah, I have bought and organized, so it looks kind of different and the lipstick are really, really messy. But I think we're going to start with face products like highlighters, bronzer and blushes. So let's start first with the highlighters, I think. I'll only choose one product over here in the highlighters because I want to choose a highlighter palette that is in another drawer and I think I'll go with this highlighter this is the Platinum Glaze from Catrice and it's really pretty and blinding you can see it over here so yeah this is going to be the first product and the only one from the highlighters over here also here I have my bronzer that is in my deck of panning project so I need to choose this one and also what I want to do I want to go with this one over here but this is also matte so maybe I should go with something that is that has a little bit of shine what do I do okay i think i'll go with this blush over here this is also from catrice in the shade uh, i don't know what shade is golden ecstasy okay so i'll go with this one over here this is has a lot of shimmer it's kind of a dark highlighter but soft at the same time so this should be good and in blushes what do i want to do First, I'll need to go with this blush that is in my deck of panning project too. This is kind of warm, kind of corally, but I'll definitely want to go with the one that I've been using in the last month, even if it hasn't been in the rotation. This is Drop of a Hat, and yeah, I've been using it and really enjoying it, so we'll go with this one too, and I'll go with a third one. Because I need to keep testing this blush. This is the Cheek Dew from Colourpop 2. And I'm not sure if I like it. So I want to use it a little bit more. Okay, now we need to go with lip products. And I think I already know what I want to pick. So I'll pick those and I'll show you. So I pick way too many. So let's see how that ends up working at the end of the month. But yeah, these mostly are colors that I use the most in winter. And I want to take advantage and use it now that it's winter. And we are super close to spring. So I want to use them before the cold weather ends. This is Glove Trotter from Maybelline and also I'm going again with Pimienta Caliente. I already showed you this, but it's a red that I really like for winter. Also, I have a kind of purple color, but a dark one. So this is also better for winter. Also, I need some nudes, so I'm going with this one. This was my favorite lipstick for a long time but i haven't used it in months it's a nice nude so i want to use it it's kind of a fun nude like it's not like bare lips at all for me but it's really wearable and i really enjoy it this is another nude that i also really enjoy this one is give me mocha from wet and wild and lastly, I need to keep working on my slip tees in low key. This is also in a project. I think it's a partner's in cream. And it's like this. 
those are a lot of lipsticks but also i need some glosses because it's the thing that i use the most lately at least and i'll keep working in this lip gloss that i mentioned in the introduction and also i need a clear gloss so i'll use this one this one is brand new and it's clear but it has some sparkles so it will be a fun color i don't think i'm going to go with any lip liners because in the last month i haven't used any lip liners at all but if i feel like i need one i'll just use it i don't need to pick that so the video where i was picking the eye products got lost <laughs> fortunately i know this now but i was showing you that all of these palettes are the ones that i'm working on right now i'll show you quickly all of these palettes but this is the reason why i'm not choosing any other palettes that are not in projects because my hands are full of palettes like literally so these are the palettes i'm working on right now some of them i'm working in the whole palette but there are others that I'm working on a specific shade. You can see my cat. <laughs> um, and yeah, if you think this is a lot, let me tell you that there are other two palettes that in a different drawer that are too big to fit here. Me too, what are you doing? That are just too big to fit here so yeah i'm working in a lot and also i was mentioning that i'm going with two super chuck shadows i'm sad that i lost the other clip because swatching this product over here lady bird i was actually able to hit pan on this super chuck shadow i don't think you can see it but yeah um i'll show you a swatch anyway but yeah i hit pan on it on camera and i lost the video that is sad but yeah and also i'll be working on this shade over here this is ice cream you can hear my cat drinking water because it's a very simple like color but it's a fun color like has a blue shift so it's going to be fun to incorporate in different looks and also i was saying that i wasn't sure if i wanted to choose some lip liners because if i want to use an, an eyeliner sorry i'll just use it but even that way i'll choose these two lip liners i was supposed to use this one in july but i didn't i'm hoping that i'm going to do that now and also this brown eyeliner that i have been wearing a lot in the last month I chose these two products, the Man Eater Mascara in this brow gel. Um, I'm not sure about this one, but I've been wearing the other one that I have in the last month. So let's go back with this one. And actually, I was trying to choose a pencil for my brows because I need something to fill them in. And I decided to go with this small pencil because it will be nice to finish it i have a lot of replacements no backups of this product so i'm getting frustrated because this is the second file that i lost and i already picked everything but i was telling you that i'll show you the palettes that i'm also working on before going with the next products and i have this palette that is huge and also i have this zodiac palette that is way too big for 24 eyeshadows i like it it's pretty but super hard to store and i was telling you that i needed to pick up my three foundations that i'm working on different projects right now and that i'm a little bit sick of this but i need to keep working on them right now i'm really focusing on this one over here because it feels light and maybe i don't have a lot of product left and also what else did i tell you well i pick up my primer that is the one that i've been working on for this mod i will only be using this one because i feel like there is not a lot of product left so maybe i'm going to be able to finish it this month what else did i told you well in the same line i have this concealer in the partners in cream project 
Usually I use this product as a eyeshadow primer because it's way too light but for those little times that I want to use it as an actual concealer and conceal my face I mix it with this concealer that is a little bit too dark for me so I'll just keep using this combo and also I told you that I'll keep working on this setting spray I didn't use it last month but there's not a lot of product left and lastly I told you that I'm going to choose these two face palettes because first I told you that I want to work on a face highlight no highlighter palette and I want to use this one because I'm thinking of maybe trying to completely pan this shit but I haven't used it in a while so it will be nice to have a little bit more progress before actually rolling it in in a project and in the same line I'm going to use this palette because I want to also finish some setting powders and this shade over here I used as a setting powder and it has a big pan so maybe it's going to be easy to actually finish it but yeah that's everything for today I hope you enjoyed this video if you like it please consider subscribing I think I'm going to try for August to post three videos a week instead of two because usually I post on Wednesday and Friday so now I'll try to post every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. I'm not sure but I'll try. But out of that I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!